What is going on guys? Welcome to another video. Today is a full day of eating and I'm going to show you guys how I stay lean or shredded, whatever you want to call it, year round. And it's actually pretty simple because all you have to do is track your macros and know what you eat. So I'm going to show you guys what I eat on a daily basis, uh, what a day of eating for me looks like. And yeah, let's kick it off. I made some eggs, four whole eggs, as you saw in the previous clips. And now I'm gonna make some oats. Because we also need some carbs. Like that. And I'm gonna add some almond milk because that just better than water. I'm gonna pop that in the microwave for a couple of minutes. Uh, the eggs are almost done. So I'm gonna put that off the heat. And I'm also gonna have a banana for my first meal for some more carbs because this is also my pre-workout meal. So yeah, that means that in an hour from now, I'm gonna hit the gym and have a good workout, come back home and have my post-workout meal. But then wait for a couple of hours, do some work at home, maybe edit some videos and make some dinner. I have dinner pretty late and I finished the day off with a snack, a pretty bad snack. So that's usually a Greek yogurt or maybe some oats, who knows. The reason why I only have four meals a day is because I like to eat bigger meals that fill me up for a longer time. So yeah, that is the plan for today. I'm gonna show you how I make every meal and at the end of the video I'll put all the macros and calories on the screen so you can screenshot it. But I have to say that my calories may not be the calories that you need. Maybe you need more, maybe you need less. So yeah, keep that in mind. These are my macros. This works for me and you have to figure out what works for you. I think the oats are done. Done. The eggs are also done. So what I'm gonna do now is add some peanut butter to the oats because that just makes it better and peanut butter is life, so why not? Um, you can also put the banana in your oats, but I just like to eat it like this. And I'm also gonna put some ketchup on my eggs because I have to admit that I'm addicted to ketchup. So, and that is it for the first meal. It's pretty simple, but tasty. Uh, wait, let me add some peanut butter to that. Yeah. So that is a tablespoon of peanut butter right there uh, for some healthy fats. And I know I said in the beginning of the video that you have to track your macros and know what you eat. And I know I didn't weigh my food, but after five years of tracking your macros, tracking your food daily, um, I kind of know how much I can eat and what my body needs every single day. So yeah, I don't have to weigh every single uh, meal. So yeah, I'm gonna eat this meal right now, do some client work, maybe edit some workout videos for Instagram. And yeah, after that, we're going to hit the gym and I'll see you guys there. Oh, and I forgot to say that I'm also having a cup of tea with this meal without sugar or anything. Just like that. And that is it for the first meal. I'll catch you guys at the gym.
controllers, you always get to a point where you just start swinging and yeah, it's not that effective anymore. So, especially with high volume training, when you go uh, past 15, 20 reps, and with that hold exercise that I just did, it's good for a pump, but make sure that you go to the amount of reps that you do clean. And it's okay to have a couple of cheap reps here and there, but don't overdo it, you know? Don't start to swing too much and just use all your body weight to get the weight up because it's useless and not really effective. with my upper body uh, use less momentum and that makes the exercise more effective in my opinion With the reverse dumbbell flies for rail belts, it's important to not go too heavy because you're gonna swing too much and use a lot of traps and back to get the weight up. So I like to use light weight and go for 15 to 20 reps and focus on my muscle connection as always. And yeah, I think that rail belts are very, very underrated because people always ask me how do you get your shoulder to pop more uh, to get a 3d look and the answer is that you need to have a well balanced shoulder so that means that you got to work on your front delt your side delt and your rear delt and a lot of people tend to work more on their front and side delt and forget about the rear delt but that rear delt is really that muscle that makes your shoulder pop more and give you that that bowling ball look you know so that's my advice for shoulders. If you have a weak rear delt, start your shoulder workouts with a rear delt exercise, like a face pull or a reverse dumbbell fly, like I did. And yeah, focus more on that area to create that 3D look.
as that's where the story goes. Was a good shoulder and ab session. Now we're going home for the post workout meal. Let's go. So we're back from the gym. Had a pretty good session. So yeah, for my post workout meal, I like to have some cereal. This is one with blueberry, apple and beetroot flavor and it has no added sugars. So that is pretty good. And if you're a person that puts the milk first and then add the cereal, please don't follow me. And I'm not gonna add the milk like that because I'm gonna make a protein shake with the almond milk that I used for my breakfast to make the oats. And I have a plant-based protein powder because not that I'm vegan, but I just digest it better and the flavor is not that bad. So why not go for this one? So that is my protein source for this meal and obviously the carbs from the cereal. Shake that up and then pour it over the cereal. And that is my quick post workout meal. It's a little thicker than uh, just regular cereal with regular milk but the taste is pretty damn good so don't knock it until you try it so yeah I'm gonna enjoy this meal right now and the most important thing is that you try to stick to a diet that is sustainable for you uh, I like to eat high carbs maybe you like to eat high fats so everybody's different and everybody needs um, a certain amount of calories and how we fill that up is totally up to you whatever is best for you whatever works best for you and yeah this is just an example of what I do because you guys asked for it so I'm gonna show you guys what I eat and this is a pretty simple meal but I enjoy it so yeah I'm gonna eat this right now um, wait for a couple of hours do some more work and I'll catch you guys later for dinner So it's a couple of hours later, dinner time, and it's already pretty damn dark outside. So that's kind of depressing, but yeah, time for food. Um, actually, I went to the grocery store to pick up some more food because I only had some broccoli in my fridge and I don't feel like eating broccoli today. So I picked up some sugar snaps, some pumpkin cubes, uh, some rice and salmon because my post program meal was pretty low in fat so now I'm gonna have some salmon to fill up these healthy fats and I'm also gonna add some ketchup sauce uh, this one is pretty good because it only has like 100 calories per 100 grams and there's no way in hell that I'm gonna use 100 grams of this sauce so yeah let's prepare this meal Sugar snaps, these are frozen, so I'm gonna pop these in the microwave. Now I'm gonna prepare the salmon. So make sure that your pan is already warm enough. I know normally you need to put the skin first, but I don't care. So now I'm gonna flip these. 
That looks pretty good. So now, salmon is pretty much done. That is pretty juicy. So now, I'm gonna add A little bit of this. I'm also going to add the rice right now. And just a tiny bit of almond milk because the rice soaks it up, makes it a bit creamy, you know, so it's really good. And to finish it off, I'm gonna add some ketchup sauce. Just a little bit for taste. We're gonna let it sit for about a minute or two and it's all done. The salmon is done. So that is done. So I have my salmon for the protein and fat source, my rice and the veggies for carbs and veggies of course for my vitamins, uh, minerals and fiber. And yeah, just something else, you know, normally I have chicken or white fish, but today we switched it up, went with some salmon because I actually really like salmon. I don't even know why I don't eat it that often, but yeah. And I'm also going to show you my last meal or snack, whatever you want to call it. So for my pre-bad snack or meal, I'm going to have two of these protein Greek yogurts. And this is the raspberry flavor. This one has 0% fat and 20 grams of protein. So that's 40 grams of protein pre-bad. And I'm also going to have some cashew nuts with these Greek yogurts and that's pretty much my full day of eating. Uh, I know it's pretty simple but as I said no need to overcomplicate things and with simple healthy foods you can actually make pretty nice meals like this one. This is actually one of my favorite meals uh, especially with the sauce and the veggies all combined in one pan. So yeah, that's pretty much it for my full day of eating. I'm gonna put the total uh, macros and calories right on the screen so you can check it out. And maybe you pick something up from it, maybe you learn something from it. Uh, this is how I eat, this is how I like to eat. Maybe it's not your style, but hey, I'm just showing you guys what I do, how I stay lean year round, and how I keep my calories in control. So yeah, that is pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. If you do so, give it a thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe to the channel because more videos are coming. Actually, let me know what you wanna see next. And yeah, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.